There are 10 shortcuts in this video, but 11 reasons to watch it. The number one reason is because I have my friend Dylan John with me today to help me out with these shortcuts. What's up, Dylan? Hey Brad, I'm stoked to be with you today, man. Thanks for having me on. Brad and I are gonna be going over 10 shortcuts that every Final Cut Pro editor should know. I'm willing to bet that there will be at least one, but probably more shortcuts in this video that you didn't know before. So comment down below to let us know how many of these shortcuts are new to you. Not only are these shortcuts guaranteed to speed up your workflow, but some of them also allow you to do tasks that you might not know about. So stick around and Dylan will kick us off with shortcut number one. The first shortcut key is immensely useful and I know it could save you a lot of hair pulling. It is the tilde key. So usually if we try and drag a clip that's in the primary storyline, we'll pull along all of our sound effects and B-roll that's connected to it. But if we hold the tilde key, you'll notice we have this weird orange icon. Move your clip and you'll notice that you won't drag along all of the connected media with it. This also works with deleting. If I don't want this clip, but I want a sound effect to stay in that spot, just hit tilde the key and press delete. Last tip with this incredible key, many of you have probably been annoyed when you bring up the trim tool by pressing T and you go to make a slide edit, but when you slide the clip, all of the connected media slides with it. Once again, press the tilde key and everything will stay in its spot while you slide. Shortcut number two is actually a set of two shortcuts that will allow you to copy and paste clip attributes. You might already know this one, but there is an option when pasting a clip's attributes that's really useful. Let's say you have a clip that you've added a bunch of effects to, you have a custom LUT effect, a color wheels adjustment, and on the audio side, you've added a channel EQ and a compressor but you've also added some keyframes to scale the clip up. You don't want to have to redo all these effects on the next clip, so you can simply hit Command C to copy this clip and then select the next clip and hit Command Shift V to paste those attributes. When this box pops up, you can choose which attributes to copy. Maybe you want all of the video properties, but not the audio effects. Before we paste the attributes, here's that option for keyframes where you can maintain the timing or stretch to fit. This second clip is longer than the clip I'm copying attributes from, so if I have maintain timing selected and I paste those attributes, you'll notice how the clip scales up to here and then stops. Not cool. So I'll undo that and I'll paste the attributes again, this time selecting stretch to fit, and now my clip scales up all the way to the end. Shortcut key number three is something I use every time I'm editing, and that is option right bracket and option left bracket. Press option in one of the brackets to quickly cut and trim clips down to where your playhead is. So for example, if I want my shot to end right here, meaning I don't want anything else after this point, I'll press option in the right bracket and it automatically cuts at that point and deletes everything to the right. If I want my clip to start at this point, not all the way over here, I'll press option and and left bracket and it quickly makes the adjustment for me. This is a huge time saver. I use this next set of three shortcuts when I'm editing talking head or interview footage and they are the J, K and L keys. J will play back in reverse, K will pause and L will play forwards. These shortcuts are helpful when you need to navigate around your timeline and the best part is if you tap J or L multiple times you can play back in double or triple speed like this. Combine these shortcuts with the blade tool and the previous shortcut from Dylan to trim clips and you'll cut your interviews and talking head footage way faster than you ever have before. Bouncing off of Brad's handy keyboard shortcuts there, another way to review the footage on your timeline is the shortcut shift question mark. Essentially what this does is it plays a few seconds before and a few seconds after the position of the skimmer playhead. For example, if I just got done editing some frames and I want to quickly see what I did, all I do is press shift question mark and it'll show me a little before of what I just edited on the clip, the part I edited where my skimmer is, and a little after. Then it brings me right back to where my skimmer playhead initially was, so if I want to, I can make more adjustments to that part. This shortcut is a really simple one and it replaces the two shortcuts that you would normally use to copy and paste clips, Command C and Command V. Simply select your clip or a group of clips and hold down Alt and click and drag to create a copy. If you have a few clips in a secondary storyline, you can Alt click and drag to copy the entire storyline as well. 
Need to trim your clip by only a few frames? It's tough to do just by dragging the end of your clip and making it precise. Luckily, if you press the ends of your clip and hit either period or comma, you can trim the clip by a single frame or extend a single frame. Another shortcut that I use all the time is Control S. It allows you to expand your video and audio tracks and then you can edit them independently. This is great for creating J and L cuts. And if you want to learn more about J and L cuts and about different ways to make cuts, then don't forget to head over to Dylan's channel where we'll show you every possible way to make a cut in Final Cut Pro. But in a nutshell, let's just say you have this clip here of a young boy and a basketball, and in the next shot, he scores a winning three pointer years later and the crowd goes wild. I can select the second clip, hit Control S, and I'll trim the end points of this video so that it starts later and I'll fade this audio in. If I hit Control S again, I can collapse the video and the audio, but the audio still plays underneath the first clip. My last tip for you is a way to make minute adjustments to your audio. Trying to adjust your audio by dragging up this bar here is a pain. It raises and lowers way too easily. However, if we press Command and drag, now our audio will be adjusted with a much finer precision. We can also select the clip and hit Control minus or Control plus to lower or raise our audio by one decibel. So Control minus minus minus, and I just lowered my audio by a few decibels, taking care of that red peaking level. The final tip on our list of 10 shortcuts that every Final Cut Pro editor should know about is Command 6. When I hit Command 6, it opens up on my color wheels, and that's because that's my default setting. It's a super quick and easy way to open up the color inspector so that you can color grade your footage. You can adjust it by heading over to Final Cut Pro, Preferences, and under the General tab, you can select your default color adjustment tool in this color correction drop down menu. If I change that to hue saturation curves, I can go back to my video properties, I'll select another clip, and when I hit Command 6, my hue saturation curves pop up. So, how many of these shortcuts were new to you? We'd love to know, so let us know in the comments down below. I want to say a big thank you to Dylan for coming on the channel today. If you guys don't already know who he is, then you're honestly missing out. His Final Cut Pro tutorials are not only packed with useful tips, they're also fun and entertaining. I guarantee that you'll enjoy his videos, so go ahead and show him some love by subscribing to his channel and watching his videos. Thanks a ton, Brad, for having me on, man. And if you are not subscribed to Brad's channel, maybe you've been watching his videos, but you haven't pressed that button, I highly suggest you do so. You will not regret it, and your future self will thank you because you'll learn a lot. Don't forget to go ahead and watch the other video we did together over on Dylan's channel, where we show you every possible way to make a cut in Final Cut Pro. I'll see you guys there.